OMG BBG! What's up BBGs? Welcome back to another unboxing. We have probably one of the most hype bays that we've gotten in a while. Dude, we have the new Fafnir here. This time, it's the real one. The right? real new The real Fafnir. one. Upgrade for Freeze Bay from Mirage Fafnir. So, no Hasbro stuff here, no gimmicks removed. We're talking about the actual Vanish Fafnir. From Beyblade Burst uh, DB. Dude, this is insane. The rubber is so flexible. I can't wait to unbox it. So, of course, this is a stamina type. It is right spinning. Uh, this is a really sick release because it also comes with the F gear, which is meant to be an upgrade for Dynamite Belial. We've talked about this on our BBG Talks, uh, so you guys probably know a lot about this already. But this is a really sick release, and out of everything that's come out in the DB system so far, I think you guys are going to have to pick this one up. I'm saying that now, and I haven't even unboxed it yet. Alright, let's take a look at the back of the box really quickly to go over the parts. So, of course, for the DB chip, we have Fafnir. For the blade, we got Vanish. That is like the most special part, basically. Like, we're super excited to see that. Uh, three armor, which is really cool. It does play a part in the combo as well, obviously. For the disc, we get Taper. And the super cool driver is Kick. In our BBG talks, we didn't really know what the Kick driver kind of like entailed. We only saw the top view of it. And now, in the anime, you get to see what the bottom is like as well. So, dude, this is such a sick driver, too. So the entire combo is brand new. Everything's new. No reused parts here. Yeah, and I want to ask you guys, what do you think of Free's new, like, graphic design in the anime? Yeah, he's got, like, a new look. He's got, like, earrings now and everything like that, too. Yeah. Like, yo, he's looking stylish. Like, I, I like the new look, man. So let's get to unboxing Vanish Fafnir. But right before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. In celebration of a new Fafnir, let's go ahead and get over 10,000 likes. Smash that like button. One last thing, we do have our merch out on our Teespring store, so go ahead and check that out. You can also find it in the merch shelf below this video. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Full rubber, let's go! Oh, F gear right there. This definitely looks like a Fafnir part. Yeah, it's like yeah. a Fafnir looking part that doesn't work on Fafnir. Ooh, fancy stuff. Yo, this is so sick. Fafnir bays are always so hype. This time is the real deal. Hopefully you guys are actually tuning in and you're not ignoring this video because you guys got duped into watching our previous one. All right, let's see our new Vanish Blade. Yo, this boy is oh, thick. This thing is huge. Yo, it's thick, man. And all rubber. There's barely any plastic. It's hilarious. Look on the backside. It's like three little pieces there. Yo. So don't forget, this is a Beyblade Burst DB part. So that means you got the high and low mode. Yeah, man. Yo, this is sick. Yo, look how flexible that is. Okay, I'm getting too excited. We have to actually open everything else up. New tapered disc. Yo, it's looking very armor tanky like. Yeah, Yo, it's really sick. I Very like that. round. That's awesome. All right, feels pretty heavy too. And the new driver. Okay, wow, this is, this also is sick. sick too. Okay. Check this. Spring loaded, just like your typical, you know, iconic drain Fafnir tips, right? They didn't forget about it. Look how cool so this there is. So a little, like, bit of flex. Yeah. That you can do with it. So the tip itself looks like the nothing driver, but that doesn't actually go down. So it's the plate. Okay, we're getting so excited about this. Wow, we gotta. Open everything else up here. So right before we dive into the parts, take a look at our little sheet here that has a preview of the upcoming releases. Looks like we're getting another random booster bay. Um, I'd just like to note that this guy down here in the corner looking like a Dronzer, in my opinion. So it looks real cool. June release. Uh, yeah. And on the left side, of course, it shows you how to put the F gear to your Belio bay. So we'll do that later. Let's put on the stickers and show you guys all the parts for our Vanish Fafnir. Here we go, all the brand new parts laid out with stickers on. So Vanish Raftner is looking hella fresh. So let's go over everything. First up, DB chip. We've mentioned this a lot in our BBG talks. The green is pretty iconic. I feel like every single iteration of Fafnir has a bit of green in there. Um, but this is, has a lot. Like that's a lot of green, like it's really popping. The design for the dragon itself looks pretty cool. Like Fafnir has the blue jaw down there, right? So I had a actual specific sticker for that. So that was a really nice detail. 
So this DB chip, of course, is super important because this can be rearranged for high and low mode. So we'll show you guys the different modes in a little bit. But yeah, super vital part. Moving on over to the Vanish Blade. This is hands down the most impressive part in the entire combo for sure. This entire Vanish Blade is mostly rubber. I would say it's like 80, 90% rubber. The only plastic pieces are the three points right there in the classic Fafnir kind of like yellowy gold color there. So the rest of it, full rubber. This entire blade is extremely, extremely flexible. You can twist and you can crush this basically. And it, yeah, it, it just deforms. And the main three blades that we've talked about as well and you've probably seen around is like, that has holes cut out. So it like cushions the blow of incoming attacks really well. And yeah, it just helps you absorb that damage so much better. Yo, you gotta have to like put this thing in your hands to feel the quality. Yeah. Like it's legit. Next level. And yeah, this rubber piece is really thick too, right? The thing is, if you make this too thin and flexible, it's gonna break easily. So at first we're like, oh my God, like what if it breaks really easily and all that stuff? Like we'll buy it just a few times, it'll get worn out. I think this is gonna be fine. Like I don't think it's gonna be that bad actually. So I don't think you guys are gonna run into too many durability issues. Next up, tapered disc. So this right here, like I was saying, it feels very like shield armor-like. It's super tanky looking. Um, it slopes downward and yeah, it feels like all the weight is kind of like towards the bottom It's also smooth around that outer edge there too Once the bait tips over and that kick driver actually like bends over and if your disc happens to touch the stadium floor The smooth and round kind of like outer perimeter there is gonna be really nice because you're not gonna lose too much stamina Next up is the three armor So this here it doesn't look too fancy or anything like that uh, but what's cool is that the points where you have the stickers when you put this in high mode, those three points actually line up with the rubber blades on your Vanish blade. So it kind of acts as like this kind of a, like metal wall behind the three blades uh, where it's supposed to have like those holes. So it doesn't flex as much. So that's kind of like your attack mode, your more aggressive mode. You're supposed to be able to do a little bit more damage that way. Last but not least, another sick part is that kick driver. So. The kick driver, it has this really round plate on the bottom here and it has a spring attached to it. So it actually kind of, it almost like flicks. It's crazy. <laughs> it, it's flexible. When it touches the stadium floor, it bends down. Um, and honestly, this is gonna be so cool for counters and everything like that. Um, when it touches the stadium floor, once again, since the spring kind of like kicks in there and it flexes a little bit, you're not gonna lose as much stamina. The tip itself is very similar to the nothing driver. Of course, this actually doesn't press down, right? Like that's the plate's job. Yeah, hopefully this driver can like lift the bay up. That way it doesn't topple over because when it falls down, that's when you lose like most of the stamina. Yeah, this bay will definitely be able to stand up on its own and won't topple over as much. So this is a really great design for a Fafnir bay. I think this is gonna be such a sick upgrade compared to Mirage. Without further ado, let's put together Vanish Fafnir. So let's start off with low mode. We'll put the DB chip into the blade here. And it's, it actually fits a little bit snug, a little bit of like friction there because of all the rubber. So DB chip goes to the top. We'll put our three armor in like that. All right, nice. And then we'll go ahead and lock it from the back. Taper disc in, kick driver. So there you go, and let's see if I can, oh, it's left spin, that's why, duh. There we go. Wow, low mode actually looks pretty impressive. Look at that. Nice and round on the disc, and then the driver, if it's sitting like that. Look, it stands up by itself pretty much. Ooh. Doesn't really topple over. This is gonna be such a good spin stealer. I cannot wait to do spin steal, hand spin videos. Oh my God, guys, this is sick. So before we put it over into high mode, take a good look at it and let's press in that rubber. So in your low mode, this is when your rubber pieces right here, your three blades with the holes in them, they're the most flexible. So you can really flex it like this, push in, it absorbs really well. So your low mode is kind of like your absorb mode. Okay, so for high mode, let's switch it over. You're gonna take your DB chip, remove it, put it in the bottom like that. Take your armor. Put it at the top, lock it in. Then we'll put the bait together again. And now much larger gap. 
And of course the bay is a lot taller this way too. You can really tell that these bays are like DV system from the high mode. Yeah, like look at this. Look at this massive gap between the rubber and the disc now. It's crazy. But uh, it's nice though, because like there's not much of a gap between the disc and the driver itself because of this massive plate there. But uh, yeah, there you go. So that is your high mode. And when you're in high mode, the three points of the armor line up with the three rubber blades on your blade right there. And so when you're pushing in the rubber, you can actually feel like it's a lot harder More to push tension. in. So yeah, you have like a metal wall behind it, right? So yeah, this way, you're gonna hit a little bit harder, not gonna absorb as much, but still gonna be pretty effective in my opinion. Literally Vanish Fafnir and bays like Lucifer for the end that are so round and stand up like this, it's hand spin on easy mode. Like, come on, man. Too easy, bro. Too easy, bro. All on in the wrist, Holmes. All right. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Don't think we forgot about it. We got the F gear to look at. Here's dynamite taken apart. So, there are slots on the back of the blade here. So, yeah, the tricky part is that like, it doesn't fit in every single orientation. So, just got to be careful with that when you're messing around with it. But once you got it the right way, fits in really smoothly. Then take the DB chip and on top and basically just like put it together as you normally would the armor in the bottom lock it all in and actually let's take a quick look at the blades now look at that so the plastic blades underneath now you have like a sub layer and you get the rubber so now of course like this is still on a tack type A you know what I mean um, so in my opinion it's just gonna hit that much harder now right because you have rubber blades so this is gonna be really nice a lot thicker than before too. And this is going to add quite a bit of weight to Dynamite Belial as well. So yeah, it's nice. And then you just put the disc in, put the driver in like normal. Look at that. Pretty just cool. Add an extra ability. Yeah, it's like something that you would have not expected. But yeah, wow. This design, man. They're going all out. OEM upgraded parts. This is so cool. Okay, of course, let's weigh out our brand new Vanish Fafnir. Let's see how much more it weighs compared to the original. Maybe it weighs less, I don't know. Uh, so, brand new bay. 71.51 grams. Over 70, wow, that is sick. It does feel pretty heavy. And so this is just a quick comparison with our Mirage from Sparking. 62.9. Dude, that's almost like a 10 gram upgrade, man. That is huge. We're telling you, man, that rubber is thick. Yo, it's tick. Okay, and then let's see how much of an upgrade we get for our Dynamite Belio here. So this is just a stock bay. 64.4. And then the F gear on top of that. Just try and stack it on there. Oh, we're hitting 70.03. Yo, sick. So it bumped it up to that 70 weight class now as well. And the F gear is definitely a welcomed addition. All right, guys, time for test battles. Let's do it. Okay, test spin with the brand new bay. Three, two, two one, one, go shoot. Nice. Launched pretty hard and it's pretty much, yeah, straight to the center. Wow, very nostalgic. Okay, so Typical let's do a couple of test battles. Yep. Let's see what happens in the stadium in the real battle. Three, Three two, two, one, let's shoot. Got that solo, man. Not making much sound. Yeah, it's kind of like when Drain Fafnir first came out and then in the anime launched as like the silent landing. Oh, this is... Yo, there's like, yeah, barely any noise when you're attacking, right? Because it's hitting that rubber. All it's rubber. so quiet. Okay, so I want to see some... Here. Something cool happen. Yeah, okay, there yeah, we go. Easy win. It's, dude, it's like legit so quiet throughout the battle. Three, Three two, one, two. Whoa. Attacks. But yeah, legit making wow. no sounds. Deflected so nicely. Another test battle, but hand spin. Here's a little teaser for you guys to see how good this is. Three, Three two, one, two. Oh, Tempest Dragon is in here. He's doing it. Yeah. Yo, so easy to hand spin this Fafnir. You really don't need to put in that much effort. It absorbs so much spin. And there's like no sound either. It's like silent, but deadly. Ooh. So easy. Wow. For all of you hand spin beginners, 
Great bait to start with. So easy to use. All right, BBGs, what do you think of the brand new Vanish Fafnir? Wow, this rubber on there is so thick. It is such a good release. This is so cool. Yeah, once again, it does come with that F gear part as well. So you can upgrade your Dynamite Belial. Um, honestly, I don't know. There's just so many good things to say about this release. We haven't done, obviously, that much testing on it. We're going to do some dedicated battles, so stay tuned for that. But uh, I think this is going to be one of the best spin sealers in the entire Fafnir generation or like family of bays. So all of you beginners that are not too good with hand spinning just yet, this is going to be a super great bay to practice with. This is, yeah, just honestly, probably the best Fafnir that we have so far. Like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geek So.